Good morning from the Northern Ants channel. We are going to be doing a DIY project today. We're setting up for uh, flightless fruit flies. Really good for feeding our ants. So first thing you're gonna need, as you can see, I, I just used a big container like that you get those big choosy puffs at Walmart in. As you can see in the corner here, this is a one I had set up a couple weeks ago. And you, you can see there's quite a few of them in there now. And I figured, bigger container, maybe possibility of getting more. And that mesh is just uh, those uh, small oranges, uh, the cuties I think they're called, that's inside the, the jar there. And then I had a little sponge. It's got some big crevices somewhere where the fruit flies can hide, plus those uh, cotton balls are for keeping the jar hydrated. And you'll need a overly ripe banana. Cut it down the middle so you can split it open so that the fruit flies can get to it. Grab your hot glue gun so you can start sticking stuff to the sides. I took and put this mesh on the side so that they had somewhere to climb up into and kind of hide. Plus it's a place where the, the maggots can go to pupate. And then you glue the little piece of uh, sponge on there and the cotton balls. The next thing you want to do is put some of the flu on around the rim so that the fruit flies can't climb up. The holes in the, the top are pretty small, but the maggots can actually climb through them. So you want to put the flu on on there so that they stay down. And then I use some tin foil because if you need to clean out it, a whole lot easier to clean it out with the uh, tin foil on the bottom. Put it down real nice and then put your banana on the bottom. This is a very small amount of water. I was just illustrating what you need to do. I just fill those cotton balls, get them real nice and wet so that you have humidity in the in your jar. And then these are our fright, flightless fruit flies. That's how they come. They've been in this jar for probably over a month because it, that's when I bought them. And I've been feeding my ants them for a long time. So you want to tap as many out as you can so that they, you can start uh, breeding in there. And then you it, using this that you use for cat ants and stuff works really well with some of the fruit flies get away. That is really handy to have. Especially for the ants. <laughs> As you can see they're already starting to set up on top of the banana and they'll start doing what they need to do. And this is a couple of the smaller containers that I had set up. These I had to actually put into the big one eventually because I pulled the bottom off and I didn't put flu on on those and they were crawling out so I had fruit flies all over and on the shelf. Here I'm adding some apple too just to give them a little more variety of things to, to lay their eggs on. The only problem I found with the apple is it kind of molded after a while. And hopefully this helps you think about setting something up for some fright, flightless fruit flies. Really a great source for your ants to, to eat. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, like, and comment down below what you think. And I will see you in the next video. You have a great rest of your day.